All right, hi everyone. So the topic of this one's gonna be Geon Synchro. Now, before we get into that, uh, I, I do wanna go back and mention something about uh, Pure Evo. I think I had mentioned in the video that this was a modified uh, fluorine, or what did I say, fluorine modified polysilazane. Uh, I don't believe that's true because I watched the Geon show and they strictly said, I watched it again. Uh, I strictly, it strictly said that this was um, silicon dioxide, SiO2 uh, coating. Uh, the modified, the fluorine modified polyxylazine it applies to Gion Mohs. Okay, so let's get to Gion Synchro. So Gion Synchro is um, Gion's two-part coating. Your base layer is going to be Mohs. Your top coat is going to be skin. Uh, that's that's how um, it's set up to be. So I, you know, here's the original one. These are the new ones. So the original one, um, for me, when I used it. The selling point was was skin. Skin as a top coat was fantastic, super hydrophobic, super slick. For me, that was a selling point of the kit. Uh, Mohs was is not the most. This version of Mohs was not the most hydrophobic. It was more of a sheening type coating, uh, and I always felt that it uh, lacked self cleaning. Again, if you like that real tight water beading, this that was not the coating for you. So they put skin on top of it, which addressed that issue. The downside to skin. Is that it wasn't very durable. I had consistent issues with it around six months where it started to kind of just start um, losing its hydrophobic performance and I would see the base layer of Mohs. Like I said Mohs is more of a sheeting type uh, coating so like I said it was it was a interesting concept when it was originally launched uh, because you know that's when I purchased it. it says uh, new formula new upgraded formula 2018 so that's when that version came out and so now it's uh, 2022 they announced this in 2021 of November, and so you know they kind of went back to the drawing board and kind of took all the feedback that they had from um, the previous version. Uh, also, with the previous version, uh, Mohs required a minimum two layers. Uh, the new one is just a one-layer coating, uh, so this required at least two layers, max three, and then uh, a layer of skin on top. Uh, so when you're doing your the, the original kit was. Um, Mohs one hour apart. So again, if depending on how fast you are around the car, depending on how big the car is, say it took you about an hour to get around the car. So you lay down Mohs, you go right into the second layer where you started. That's another hour. So you're already in two hours. If you're going to only do two layers, then you have to wait four hours to put skin. So you're looking at six hours plus another hour to put this on, eh, roughly about 45 minutes because this one's kind of quick. So you're looking at uh, almost seven hours of just coating application right here. In this setup here and so um, that was kind of a downside to it so you spend basically spending the whole day putting that coating on there uh, and so I, I kind of moved away from that uh, because it, like I said I wasn't too impressed with it and I just moved on to something else and so I kept waiting for Gion to kind of you know upgrade this kit and I was like man you know they need to do something about it and uh, Nathan saw my comment in the Facebook group, and then uh, he reached out to me and uh, asked me if I wanted to test out the new version. And I was like, okay, yeah, sure, I would love to test the new version to see how much better it um, it is. And um, I use Mohs on the wheels already. It's like, you know, I coated uh, the passenger side wheel because I want to test Mohs on, on the wheels as well. Uh, I'm actually testing Mohs on the driver's side and then just Evo on the passenger side so um, but I'm gonna tell you this stuff is slick if you guys like slick you're gonna you're gonna I love Mo's uh, so let's get right into it so I'm just looking at my notes here we'll go over uh, Gion Mo's uh, and the differences that these have um, that are in the new formula so the new formula is a fluoro modified polysilazine so they're not fluorine based so from just watching the Gion show, they take fluorine and the manufacturing process to kind of just add to the um, durability and chemical resistance of, of the coating as well. And I believe that's where the, the slickness is coming from uh, because um, their topper booster, I believe it was, was fluorine based and that stuff is super slick. So I think that's where, the, that's where it's getting the slickness from. Again, it's slick and smooth. I totally agree with that. Uh, this is now a one layer coating. This was minimum two layers, max three. Um, again, outdoor friendly, no direct sun, 
and you don't want to apply it when it's going to be raining outside so or if you have real high moisture content like dew okay so because again it says 12 hours not to, to get wet uh, somebody was asking pH tolerance of, of a pure Evo and I found that on the website so it's uh, pH tolerance of 2 to 11 which is the same for for Evo and Mohs and here's the durability so if we do one layer of the new version of Mohs Evo uh, one layer is going to get you 36 months up to 36 months which is roughly three years uh, again up to is the key word it depends on how you maintain it if you put a second layer one hour after the first layer it goes up to 48 months which is uh, four years so that's one th one thing to, to note about uh, Mohs. So if you do two layers, you're going to get up to four years, which is pretty impressive on there. So that goes to show you how durable that coating is just with one layer. Okay, so when you put this on, um, it's going to do the sweating effect, similar to G-Technic Crystal Serum Light. So for those of you who are familiar with applying Crystal Serum Light, uh, you know what that feature looks like. Um, you get these little um, beads like in, um, like in rows. And that's when you know that the coating is ready to be wiped off. This stuff will do that very easy to tell when it's um, to be wiped off unlike uh, pure which will rainbow okay so that's uh, Mohs by itself so now we're gonna go up to skin uh, skin again is the top coat for the Geon synchro kit and uh, skin uh, went from a silicone base which is this one here to now a silicon dioxide based which is this one so now it's gonna be uh, chemical resistant, uh, more chemical resistance than, than the previous version. Uh, it says skin increases gloss and durability of the hydrophobic effect. So if you um, already have a hydrophobic coating, this is just going to add uh, more to it. Now, the durability, I found two different things on here. Uh, if you watch the Gion show, they're saying that the durability of the new Mohs, I think this version here was like 24 months, I believe. Uh, the new version. I found two things. So the website says uh, up to uh, 50 months, which is uh, four years and change. But in the Geon show, and then before they updated their website, it said up to five years, up to 60 months. So um, maybe Nathan can kind of chime in. But that's really the, the durability of, of this one. So I believe it's, it's closer to the five-year range. So that's really what, um, the background for this um, the new synchro kit and you know breakdown for each coating uh, the kit's going to come in 30 50 100 milliliters um, uh, for Gian Mohs and then if you buy the synchro kit it's going to come in 30 and 50 uh, millimeter kits and then you're going to have both kits you're going to have the light kit with no uh, cure and then you're going to have the kit that has cure so again pricing is out I will just post a link because the pricing is always kind of changing but the price has gone uh, down from the first version which is good because this they were approaching a premium product and I, I I didn't think that the old version was worth the money uh, so again you get inside you get the applicator with a two-sided microfiber Nathan told me to use the microfiber for Mohs suede sand for skin uh, again you get the maintenance kit kit which tells you how to maintain your coating and it tells you to kind of use, use wet coat cure or bathe plus or the ceramic detailer uh, you get the sticker so you can just put this in the in the door jam and of course you get the manual so again read the manual it has some very good information on how to how to prep the vehicle you know polish panel wipe and or degrease and all that stuff and then apply your coating um, now I used NSP 95 which does not require a panel wipe so um, we're just gonna go with that so let me just put the the new things here in the coating caddy here because we're gonna set this up for a second, let me get my phone out of the way. Okay, so now let's just go to the hood here. I got my towels, I already labeled the corners here. Uh, and then again, this car kind of was kind of sitting overnight. And some people always ask, How do you get dust off the car after it's sitting overnight? Get a, a plush, edgeless towel, just drag it over the edge or over the paint here lightly. I'm not using any pressure, and that will pick up any dirt or dust I should say that's accumulated uh, overnight so again just go over that if you have compressed air even better I didn't want to turn my compressor on but you know just basically do that uh, the towel is going to attract all that dust so let me just put that there 
and I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you, well, we'll see what happens, the sweating effect of this um, kit. So just kind of shake up your, your bottle. And again, this this uh, this goes a quite a quite a long way. So I'm just gonna kind of load up my applicator to begin, uh, just like so. With the microfiber side, uh, it will spread a lot further once it's primed. Put that back in the caddy, and I'm just gonna work a small section. I'll just work this section here just to see. Well, maybe it gives you an idea of what it's like. And I'm gonna work this entire section here. So I'm just gonna draw the line here. And all I'm going to do is two passes. So I don't know if you can see, I don't think you can see it, but here it's starting to already do that sweating effect. I'm hoping it picks it up on camera somehow. You can see these little beads on here. I'm going to have to bring up my, my cell phone and kind of just give you an idea of what it looks like. At that point, it's already ready to be wiped off. So this stuff, you're going to be working panel by panel, unlike Pure, which you apply to one whole section let it sit and then come back and you have up to um, roughly 10 minutes to work with. So at this point, I can actually remove it because it's already starting to kind of dissipate and break down. And the longer you let it sit, the harder it is to wipe off. So just kind of wipe it off, come back with your secondary towel, and then just enjoy the slickness of the coating. I mean, this stuff is super slick. If you guys thought Crystal Serum Light was slick or, you know, Actually, yeah, so if you guys thought Crystal Storm Light was slick, this is even slicker than that. And again, um, just let it, it'll start to get slicker as it's curing. This stuff is just, feels fantastic underneath the towel. Even once you let it cure, and then you can come back and put the back of your hand on it, and you'll be impressed. So, um, real user-friendly from a product standpoint. Um, you know, you can't... This one is really easy to tell when it, when it's flashing. Uh, just kind of let it do its thing. And again, this microfiber applicator is is very nice on here. Then once you kind of load up your your applicator, initially you don't need that much product. And so I kind of just um, you know work it in here. You don't need many passes because this thing's gonna kind of sweat on you really quick. And so I don't want to thin it out too much. And so we'll just let the coating do its thing and um, let it do the sweating thing. And that's a real indication of that it's ready to be wiped off. So you're going to be working panel by panel with this one. Uh, again, it's really nice. I think Gian got the Mohs uh, right on this one. Um, and then just wipe it off. And it's a smooth wipe off. I mean, you're not going to struggle with this one. Uh, because it's not as thick as pure and you'll know when you when you put the coating on because it's it, like i tell you it feels really slick under, underneath the towel and then once you let it cure it will get even slicker and then, like i said this stuff is is fantastic they, they, they did a good job doing this so let me just finish this half of the hood just to kind of show you guys how i would work with this coating I guess I already put it here, but and you can apply this circular pattern, uh, cross hatch pattern, completely up to you. It's just user preference, and like I said, this stuff is uh, very slick. So I don't know if you can actually see the. It's really hard to see this doing the beading effect. So I'm kind of just hoping that it you can see it on here, and then just wipe it off. Come back with your secondary towel, pick up any excess that you may have, and then just finish it off. But yeah, this stuff is really nice, man. I'm telling you, uh, this is approaching the slickness level of C Quartz SIC. That's how slick it is. Uh, most of you haven't used the um, Poor Boy Ceramic, which is very impressive as well. Um, you know, that stuff is great. In terms of slickness, I think it's slicker than C Quartz SIC, and then now you have this version here, which is 
super slick. And I'm actually gonna work this section here while the other side is flashing. Yes, it's flashing rather quick, but it will be ready by the time I finish that side and I can just come back and knock this one down. So very nice coating here. All right, so that's it. And I'll come back with the uh, follow-up video of putting skin on here, because I have to let this sit for an hour before I put uh, skin as a top coat. But yeah, I'll just go ahead and coat the other side of the hood and then move on to the next section. And this one be ready to go. And um, yeah, this stuff looks, looks really nice on here. Uh, unlike... Uh, Geon Pure, this is not going to give you that real super high gloss, candy gloss look. This is going to give you more of that crisp look. Um, like I said, it looks uh, close to Crystal Serum Light in terms of looking more wax-like versus um, that candy coated gloss. So um, we're just going to go ahead and go over it with skin in an hour. Uh, but overall, so far, Moe's is really awesome to work with super slick uh the flash time really easy to tell once you start seeing those those little beads this little sweating effect go your your you can wipe off but overall very impressive uh initial impressions uh, i've seen the water behavior on the esoteric video and uh, that looked really good and so what i'm going to do on the trunk because i'm going to go ahead i don't have the light on back here but i'm going to split this trunk so i'm going to put a base layer of gian mo's on here and the center is just going to be two layers of Gion Mo's. And then one side, I don't know what side, let's just say this side here, is going to be uh, the Synchro, so Gion Mo's top with skin. Over here is going to be Gion Mo's top with can coat. And we'll kind of see how each uh, combination uh, works with each other. Uh, we probably won't have, I'll probably put a tape line after I put the base layer of Gion Mo's on here. And that way we can see if we can see that tape line once we put like can coat and stuff on there. And this, again, that's can coat Evo. So uh, that's the plan going forward. But I'm going to use the entire synchro kit on the rest of the car. Um, I'm going to do the same thing on this door panel here. Just going to be uh, two layers of Gian Mo's. And then the rest of the car is going to have uh, the synchro set up the way it's supposed to be. And um, we're going to go from there. So that's the Gian Mo's. I'll come back with Gion um, skin as the top coat, and we'll see if this takes away the slickness from Moe's or if it's gonna add more slickness. But so far, the initial impressions with Moe's is, is really nice. You guys will like this one. And like I said, it's very hydrophobic, which I think is kind of Crystal Serum Light's uh, Achilles heels, the, the hydrophobic. It's not as hydrophobic as other coatings. Um, so, uh, Again, Gian Mo's is uh, really nice. Uh, we'll see how these hold up over the next uh, year or so. Uh, hopefully the formulas that they that they made because they put some, they modified the formula to be um, anti-aging uh, in terms of the hydrophobic where it doesn't drop off re re relatively quick. So uh, that's the plan going forward. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the other side of the, the hood there. I'm gonna coat the roof because that's done as well. And I can actually coat uh, this side of the vehicle as well um, if I wanted to uh, I'm probably just gonna do that for today and then I'll wait an hour come back and put skin on there but again uh, that's it for the uh, GMOs we'll come back with Gion skin okay I'm gonna try to capture up close I'm on my iPhone and I'm gonna I'm applying the, the Gion Mo's Evo at the moment I've already done half the car it's going on smooth this stuff goes on really nice just to give you an idea of what the gloss looks like at the moment. Um, but I'm going to be applying the coating to the trunk here. I'm going to try to get an up-close uh, view of what it looks like when it's doing the sweating effect. So let me just load this applicator with some uh, product here. So I think if I go, let's see which way would show better. Maybe this way here. So I'm going to do like just a small uh, patch here on the trunk. Um, so let me do 
a line. So you can see the line. You can already see it's starting to do that sweating effect. And then I will work um, just a small section. Just but can you see the bit focus focus this is? Come on. There it is. There is what I'm trying to get to. That's what it's going to start doing once it starts to tell you that it's time to wipe off. And that's, that's what I wanted to uh, mention is all those little beads here. It does the sweating effects. All right, everyone. So I just finished putting the uh, Moe's Evo onto the paint. So I did one solid layer. Uh, you can't see it uh, from, from the camera, but from this view, just looking through the frosted bottle, I use about 25 milliliters of product onto the paint. And again, I, I also applied it to a couple wheels. And so this is considered a large sedan. And so if you have a large vehicle, you may, um, I would recommend you pick up the 50 milliliter, especially if you're going to do two layers. If you're going to do one layer, uh, you could probably squeeze by with a 30 mil uh, bottle. Uh, you know, if you have a large SUV or a large truck. If you have a large SUV, I'd probably go for the 50 milliliter because that has a lot of paint. Uh, but if you have a large family sedan like this, like the Impala here, this is a 2015 Impala, uh, you can probably get by with a 30 mil bottle of Mo's Evo. If you're going to do one layer, if you're going to do two, get 50 milliliters. Same thing with the Synchro kit. If you're going to do um, just the painted surfaces, get yourself the um, 30 mil uh, kit for a large sedan and you'll be fine. Again, if you want to um, do a large vehicle, you may want to get the 50 mil, especially if you're going to coat wheels, because I did two layers of Mohs on the two wheels I put it on. So again, I'm using more product because I put it on wheels, and so I did use up um, some of it there. Um, that's why I, I use 25 milliliters. Um, but overall, this looks good. Now, because I demoed the hood with the skin uh, from Synchro, there's an entire kit, uh, the look looks just a bit on the glassy side, but again, um, not by much. I'm just looking at it from, from this uh, fender here uh, to the to the hood, or you know, those of you overseas, the bonnet, um, which I think bonnet sounds better than hood. Um, but unlike uh, Pure, Pure is gonna give you that real candy gloss type look, like the paint was dipped in glass. Uh, this is gonna give you more of that a crisp look more like natural clear coat uh, I would that's the way I would put it and I think it looks good I mean if you don't really want that real high impact glassy look just get this one um, you know because some people like that glassy look some people don't um, but again I think it looks really nice the way it came out uh, we'll see how it holds up on this pl uh, plastic chrome stuff nothing I put on there has lasted so I would don't suspect it's gonna last very long um, but you know, overall looks good. Now Nathan did text me as I was finishing up the application of it. He says uh, he does not recommend using uh, Mohs or Pure on glass, but he says can't coat is perfectly fine. So just kind of keep that in mind when you're using uh, those the new Gion products. Now, when it comes to this rear door here, uh, I am going to do two layers of Mohs Evil just on the door, and. Uh, we'll monitor that in comparison to skin, which is going to be on the next door here and also on the rear quarter. We'll see how the... Because I want to test out the full version of Synchro and compare it to the previous version when I bought it, when it first came out. Like I said, well, I wasn't that impressed with it. We'll see. And maybe this one will impress me even further. Uh, but again, if this one's going to give you a more crisp look. I really do like the way this looks. Um, I think this will look awesome like on a, on a black vehicle. Um, or like if you want to maintain more of that... Um, classy look you know this is going to probably be the, the couldn't to get um, on this rear deck lid here on this on the trunk I'm going to split it into three sections here so on the on the driver's side we're going to have I'm going to put skin on top of the top coat in the center just uh, another layer of uh, Mohs and then on this side here on the passenger side we'll put a uh, can coat but uh, overall looks good really happy with it I think it gives a real nice appearance to it. Again, most of the gloss is going to come from your, your polishing step and then whatever coating you use as the icing on the cake. Uh, but this looks really nice. If you guys want to keep the slickness, do not top it with anything. Uh, 
you know, don't put skin on top. So if you want to, yeah, let me put that, let me rephrase, rephrase that. If you want to keep this slickness of skin, I mean, of Mohs, do not put skin or uh, the can coat on top of it uh, because you're going to take away from the slickness, which is the beauty of Mohs Evo is that it's super slick. So I'm going to just mention that right off the bat. And if you want to retain the slickness, do not top it with anything else because skin took away from the slickness of it and gave it more of that uh, coating type feel. You know, it's just smooth, but not slick. Um, but yeah, this looks really nice with Moe's and then I'll, you know, I'll give you a walk around once I put skin on it and then finish off that video as well. So if you guys are interested in giving this a shot, you know, go ahead and uh, purchase it. I'll post the links, you know, you can pre-order off detailed image. You know, if you use my affiliate links, it does help me out on the channel to kind of just purchase new things and test out. And I actually per picked up a bottle of the ceramic detailer. So once a month I will be putting the ceramic detailer as a topper on here. And um, if I don't forget, I won't put it on the trunk lid here. Uh, if I don't, yeah, I can remember that. If I don't put it there, then um, hopefully I remember that when I'm washing, when I'm washing and drying it. Um, but I picked up a ceramic detailer, I use it once a month. The rest of the time, I'll just use like something like Shine Supply Throttle, which leaves nothing, be, uh, no protection behind. Um, but yeah, overall, uh, real nice application of Mo's. Uh, if you guys are familiar with uh, G Technic Crystal Serum Light and the way it does the sweating effect, you guys will be real familiar with. Uh, I mean, you'll you'll find it very easy to work with this coating, and I actually think this coating is slicker than G Technic Crystal Serum Light. Um, not as slick as C Quartz SIC, uh, but it's pretty pretty close. Um, and again, overall, really nice coating to work with. So if you guys are interested in picking some up, I'll, I'll post a link for detailed image where you can order this. Uh, right now it's for pre-order, but I think by the time this video goes up, it should be available for order. And again, thanks for watching. If you guys have any comments or questions, go ahead and post them down below. Uh, I'd be interested in hearing your thoughts on um, whether you use this coating or not, I'd like to hear what you think long-term performance, overall hydrophobic behavior, and, you know, that type of thing. So, again, thanks for watching. And again, thank you, Nathan, for sending out the, the Synchro Kit. And this is going to be just part one, which is the Mose application. And then I'll get to the um, application with uh, skin. All right. So, again, thanks for watching. And catch you on the next one. Okay, everyone. So, I'm going to do one additional bonus content here. We're going to put a carpal blocks here on the trunk lid. And we'll see which one is the slickest. So I'm going to put these blocks relatively spaced where they should be. So here's Mo's, here's Skin. And I want to get them all on the flat surface so that they're all relatively even when I open up the trunk lid here. So I'm going to do a controlled opening. I just want to make sure that they're all... I mean, you can tell right off the bat this one's going to win. I can tell just by feeling on the surface. So we're going to do a controlled opening of the trunk and um, so that's Mo's. Uh, that one goes went by first. Here comes can coat right there. It's going to slide off the surface and then you have skin which is still coming down, still coming down. It's the last guy and there it goes. So I just wanted to give you an idea of the slickness of Mo's and how good it really is compared to some of the other coatings. And once you top it, you're going to lose that slickness with uh, skin. Uh, but you can see that can coat is, is, is not too bad by itself. So I just want to give you an idea of what the slickness was uh, in comparison um, to the other uh, areas that were topped. Um, I don't have uh, Pure on here, but Pure would, uh, feels like a can coat. So. Uh, again, thanks for watching. Here's some additional bonus content to show you the slickness of Moe's.